succinylcholine is a drug which binds here and produces prolonged stimulation. If there is prolonged stimulation, then it means the sodium will keep on going for a long time. Initially, it will produce some action potential and muscles may show some fasciculation or twitching. But if it remains depolarized for a very long time, so it means uh, this area will remain near the threshold for a very long time and all the sodium channels will be drived into inactive state. As we have discussed in previous lectures in resting manner potential and action potential, that if you keep the resting manner potential of an excitable tissue all the time very near to threshold, then most of the voltage unit sodium channels will be stuck into inactive state where they cannot be stimulated. So succinylcholine stimulates these channels and produces prolonged sustained depolarization and slight depolarization of the membrane for a very long time uh, lead to, lead to prepping of the voltage rated sodium channels into an active state. And do you think then uh, action potential transmission will occur and that will block. So these are also neuromuscular blocker drug. 